Oh well, I guess the biggest problem with using plastic to make it look like metal is that it's not, and it won't look like metal eventually. But anyways, I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and it's time for our Galaxy Note 3 Durability Report. First off, a couple of disclaimers. I have been using this Galaxy Note 3 for over a month, and the reason why is because I am the second person to use it. It first went to Taylor Martin for his full review, which he did a fantastic job on. He used it for two weeks, and then he sent it to me. So yeah, it's been over a month, and I have been using it nonstop. It's probably one of the favorite devices that I currently have. Just like with every device I own, I baby this phone a lot, meaning that even though I don't like cases, I don't like putting plastic on top of my phones, I do love sleeves, and I use them to put them in my pocket. I do recommend the sleeve from Amazon. It'll cost you like 15 bucks, but it's actually for the Note 2. Fits fine on the Note 3, and it does give you a very elegant feel. It is actually made of leather, and you could just, again, put it in your pocket and then just take it out, set it on the table like this, and you won't have any problems with the phone. Now, I will admit that this is probably the first Samsung device that I have actually liked when it comes to build quality, and don't get me wrong, it is the same plastic as the Galaxy Note 2, but the difference is that you don't have any hyperglaze. It doesn't scratch in the back either easily as with the Galaxy Note 2. And in the case of the Galaxy Note 2, I had a lot of problems with scratches on the display, which I haven't had on the Galaxy Note 3, aside from the fact that because of the way they designed this phone, even though again, it's made out of the same plastic, it is actually more durable and it actually feels better in the hand than the Galaxy Note 2. After a course of a month using this phone as my daily driver, I'll tell you that my experience has been mixed, but not really when it comes to using the phone as it is, because first of all, the Snapdragon 800 on this phone is just amazing. The battery life is perfect. And then aside from that, using the phone is actually snappy. Even though you get touch whiz and all, the phone actually doesn't bog down after everything that I've loaded on it, which is actually a good thing. Probably my only complaint will be the IR blaster, which is not as strong as the one that I had on the Galaxy S4, but that's really something negligent. The only problem that I've had with this phone has been with aesthetics, and this is really interesting because even though I've only used this phone for over a month, think about it, you're gonna be using this phone for two years with a contract, so bear with me here. Taylor only used this phone for two weeks, and when the phone arrived to me, it already brought scratches on the speaker grill and scratches on the home button, which is something new I had never seen on Galaxy devices before. And other than that, think about it. I mean, I used to use it on a belt holster, and the reason why I stopped using it was because the metallic tips of jeans would actually scratch the faux metal band around it, which is not really metal. And you could see these scratches so deeply in that you would really not want to scratch your phone this way. So again, my advice to you is use it with a sleeve in your pocket. Do not use belt holsters with this device because obviously these are crazy big. You'll look ridiculous, first of all. And second of all, you could scratch the metallic or should I say chrome bands very easily. And there is just no way you're not gonna notice these when you use the phone. Now wait, not everything is bad because First of all, this fake leather at the back is actually one of the smartest things that I've seen on a phone yet. I would have never thought I'd see this from an OEM, but first of all, it doesn't matter what black phone you buy, you're going to have problems with fingerprints except with the Galaxy Note 3. And I don't know why it is, but this fake leather actually does a great job in deterring fingerprints. I have very smudgy hands, and I do not have any problems with this Galaxy Note 3 whatsoever. So you can buy the white model or the black model, but I do recommend you buy the black model because the leather, the fake leather that is, actually feels more like leather on the black phone than on the white one. So again, the good thing about the back plate is that even though, again, it is not real leather, it'll do a far better job than any other previous Galaxy device that you've seen with hyperglaze. Trust me on that. It doesn't get scratched and it actually looks very elegant. So overall, my experience with the Galaxy Note 3 has been actually more positive than negative. Again, the software is performing great even though I hate TouchWiz. And then in the case of hardware, where if you take care of the phone, you shouldn't have any problems with it. Again, my advice to you, get a good sleeve to use in the pocket. Don't just carry it in your pocket like that because again, plastic is not really as strong as any other material and glass isn't as strong as well. Now, a lot of people complain about plastic in build quality, but I will tell you that plastic is a lot more resilient to falls than aluminum. So, you know, it depends on your opinion, but so far I'll say that I do like this phone. I do like the way it is. But anyways, leave us a comment down below on your experiences with the Galaxy Note 3. We will be having another After the Buzz video with this phone eventually to tell you even more about our experience three months down the road. So make sure you leave us a comment down below with your questions on 
what you would want us to cover during that after the buzz as well. That's it for our durability report. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you share your experiences with the phone in the comments down below or whatever other phone you would like us to do a durability report on. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next video.